Lovely, lovely. Just tricked you there. Got a little signal. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first draft. Try it. Good afternoon, people. Right, so, I don't know what we're trying to do here. <laughs> I have some idea, but not a full idea. Anyway, it's a Cronenberg, well, it's a 1664 triple review. In the way that we're going to review the new one, that's the 5.5, decent one you get in France. That is the infamous Blanc, that a lot of you know. I'll tell you, Shine Touch, you showed you Michelle the other night. I did indeed. And this is the one we we're going to review. This is a, another Blanche like the Blanc, but it's with um, blackberries and blueberries, blackberries and blueberries yeah. It comes in at 4.5% ABV. We weren't sure, because remember, we're not quite into sweet ones. So I thought what we could do, we could kind of mess about, if it don't work, by not pouring it all in and having a mix and a match. If that makes sense. You can do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, might, wrong, that might work. Because it might go with that, but then it might also go with a bit of power. As in the other one, um, I did email Cronenberg again, as a lot of you will have seen yesterday about bringing Blanc back to the UK, but as of yet, no reply. No. <laughs> I think I'm a bit shy. I don't know, um, for whatever reason, but to get that beauty back in England would be absolutely amazing. Um, we had a good time away. It's great to be back, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was a, it was a really good time. Yeah, we That's somewhere I'll definitely um, investigate a little bit more for a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah, which is what I like. So, right, what I'm going to do is going to go so far with it, and I, it's just in case this is sweetness and light that I really don't like. Got six bottles of it. God, I think that's going to be a sweet one. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, it's it, it's got a slight malty smell that it's it, been a really kind of sweet fruity smell to it so um it's looking kind of sweet Look. that is real really powerful yeah the blackberries I, I, and the blueberries I, I'd be hoping for a slightly more tart experience of on, blueberries and blackberries but I wouldn't you never know. <laughs> I wouldn't bank on it let's put it that way you never know it's only 4.5 could be an ideal summer drink obviously the problem is getting the bloody thing in England People who like fruit beers are we'll going like to like this. Yeah. I don't get the Blanc to it. No, it's not there, that is, bad. there is a slight, um, much more than I get from a lot of fruit beers actually. I'm getting a really nice kind of malty flavour in there, which I did get from the aroma. Um, yes, it has got that sweet fruit. kind of sweetness that you get from fruit beers. Um, it's, not it's not altogether unpleasant because it isn't overly saccharine, artificial type sweetness. It, it does taste of berries. Oh, I think. What one do we do? This one. That one, I would say. Oh, I think this could be a half and half mix with probably in the mix. Just yeah. So you have a bit of that. We could even do a triple if you like. A bit of the <laughs> other one. So we have a blanc meur cocktail. You first. Yeah. Okay. I reckon that could deliver because then you've got the the, the fruit going into the Yeah, I'm not sure I'm picking up the citrus and it it's mingling there with the berryness, and I'm not sure if that's going to work. Okay, it's it's, it's, it shouldn't really overpower. I don't know. Maybe it will. That doesn't taste bad, does it? That's better. Oh yes, and you've got that lovely aroma, blanc bit... on the end. Yeah, 
But what I'm finding is the citrusy kind of taste of the Blanc is taking away a little bit of that sweetness of this one and you're left with a really nice fruity citrusy blast at the end of this drink which is it's quite quite nice that's nice yeah yeah, yeah. especially summer's day yeah um, those two are mixing quite well together they're going to go i don't know whether it's worth doing this doing one. that <laughs> one i'm not sure it is <laughs> do that on a separate occasion with it i don't know um that's nice isn't it mm. so you're basically Ah, so now we know that they don't go to waste. Won't have to palm them off on the guests. No. Which is what I normally do. Well, <laughs> unless there's no guest, then it's Michelle. Yeah, I do like that. I like the way that the citrus, like I say, is just just taking the edge off that sweetness. It is. Um, yeah. It, at first, it down a bit. At first, you're getting your maltiness. You're getting your your, your mm. blueberries, your blackberries, your berries, whatever way you want to go around of them. But it's it, there's a little bit of citrus in there but then at the end as you're swallowing mm. you'll get more of a citrus buzz after i think that'd be a cracker in the summer that would be a lovely summertime drink yeah and a little bit of a, a difference from the norm as well yeah because it, sometimes you you kind of you, you drink yeah, a lot yeah. during the um summer because it's a nice refreshing drink but sometimes you want something a little bit more fruity i think that's why people tend to look at ciders during the summertime a lot more um this would be a wonderful just change. Something oh yeah, a little I, bit different. I mean, I was going to mess around, put the three in. But I kind of think when you've got something there that's winning, mm. you know, it might not do it. I don't know about that to that to that to that. It might kind of mess it up. That's a little. Remember, that's a little bit stronger again. So that might well overpower. Remember, this is the it's, proper Yeah, Cronenberg. it's possible. The it 5.5. I think we'll give that a skipper. Maybe do that off against the English one yeah. that they're rebranding, and God knows why. I don't know. Not very good. I like the way the head's changing colour. Yeah, yeah, it's got that really nice pink hue to it, isn't it? Yeah, that's a winner. And again, what I like there is to say you, you get in your sweetness, you get your malts, your sweetness, but then the, the citrus that you're getting left as your aftertaste is a winner. So yeah, anyone going to France, get your Blanc, and if you see these, it's only four point five, and it was only about literally i think it was about five euros something for mm. a pack of six 25 euros it wasn't very expensive was it in, no. in care no, they, 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 they were um, they were good good value really hmm. the problem is where we were again apart from the big boxes of them that i could hardly carry because i've done my shoulder in yeah. and i'm not in a, i'm not in the fittest of things at the moment am I? we were finding it hard all the time to to pick up everything weren't we yeah yeah so it was becoming, um, i'm not particularly strong and he's out his shoulders so yeah it was getting a little bit difficult I was wasn't carrying, it? <laughs> 20, i carried the 20 pack of blanc back the first night didn't i there was a few other things nearly done my back in and then we drank most of bloody buck after <laughs> blanc after the pub <laughs> happens doesn't it but it yeah is. as i say if you are in france and you do see these there is a double win yeah definitely what can i say thanks for watching um we'll do something with this uh later date i don't know let's say maybe i'll put it against the uk one i must admit that is pretty decent as far as the uk one at least we could use two of them then yeah. you've got a 50 co in each you know you can give it a proper go but yeah that's a yes thanks for watching bonjour